go ahead and bring her in. Hey, young lady. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. So thank you for taking time out of your schedule to sit down and talk to us no and problem. answer our questions. I really, really appreciate it. No problem. Anytime. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll start off with my question question and then I'll start off with and I'll get right into the fans questions. OK. All right. So tell me how you got started. Well, first of all, how did you get into cars? You know, people think because we're girls, we're not into cars. So first, tell me how you got into cars. Um, I mean, I've always liked cars, but like I really didn't get into it into it until I got my um my GT mm -hmm. charger. So that's when I really got into it. Okay. So what made you go with a Dodge versus anything else? Uh, my husband he had a, a Scat Pack, so uh -huh. that's what really made me want a, a charger. Uh -huh. So so you was in competition with him. No, now I, now that I have the three ninety two, maybe a little bit. But before I was like, I just like driving his car, and he was like, "Man, maybe we should just get you a charger." And I was like, mm -hmm. "Okay." And so, have you gapped him yet? I haven't gapped him. I did race him, but I don't know. Everybody say I cheated because they say I took off before him, but I'm still taking it as a win. Don't let them tell you that. They right. trying to cheat for his side. They right. <laughs> he has more miles that makes his car faster anyway. So, I mean, I feel like it kind of evened out because I went a little bit before him. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to say that. I, got I mean, school. don't say. But his car's faster, so. So, oh, so he gave you the back tire. Or he gave you the hit. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. It sounds like he need to give you everything. Do y'all race on the track or just the street? Uh, we only raced once. It was on the street, though. Mm -hmm. So do y'all do track racing? We haven't yet, but I mean, I'm down to do it. <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to tell you this. Go and start practicing now. So you, if you can cut the tree on him, you got it. You got it. See, a lot <laughs> of people don't know. You kind of win the race at the tree. If you yeah. cut that tree, no, I mean unless unless you just can't drive, don't let him drive around you, please. I'm gonna come root you on. Okay, I'm gonna come root for you, <laughs> but please don't let him drive around you because we oh. cannot afford to take the L. See, men think we can't drive because we're women, but it's a little known fact. Just like I told Hellcat Dre last week, it is a proven fact that women drive better than men. I'm going I'm to send, I'm going to post that on my page. Y'all don't do no fact checking, but I'm telling y'all that women drive better than men. That's why our insurance is lower. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dre, I was trying to get, I was trying to get Dre to buy his wife's, um, a demon. A demon? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway. So let me get right into the fans' questions. Um, what made you decide to start your YouTube? Um, I've been wanting to do YouTube, but like I'm kind of quiet, so I kind of like ah, I don't know. I don't really talk that much, and then I was just like, you know what? Forget. It. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And I just go ahead, went ahead and started. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Hmm. All right. So, um, how do you come up with what the content should be on your YouTube? Um, uh, I just mostly go to car meets and stuff. Uh -huh. And then like uh any type of personal stuff like mods and stuff I do, then I'll put that on there. But that's basically So you have can you work on your own car? No. <laughs> you don't do nothing to your car. I like I I did some tail light tint, uh that's it. But but that's not that's it. Like you gotta be proud of the stuff that you have done. I mean, I can't, like, get up under the hood and start messing with stuff. The car is going to be trash after that. <laughs> what's your, they want to know what's your YouTube. Tell, um, put it up there and I'll pin it. Okay. <laughs> so, so, let me tell you, I'm really not a person that works on my car. But I do, I change my own headlights. I change my own taillights. I, um, I change my own filters. Um... I, you know, 
I feel like if that's just, I'm not paying nobody to change my tail lights, my headlights. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do you that have myself. to take the tire off to do that? No. Okay. You gotta take your tire off to do that in your car? I don't know. I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. <laughs> we gonna get with Letty. We gonna get with Letty, and she gonna teach you how to do all that stuff because that'll like the hardest part for me is I like to upgrade my headlights. I like to have the bright whites. So. In the new, my new Camaro, it's a little bit more challenging than the old ones because they got some kind of bar. It's hard to, it makes no sense. It's a bar across each side, which makes no sense to me. So that's a little bit more time consuming, but I always change my own headlights. And you can too. And when you I do like it, try. yeah, when you do it, make sure that you record it so we can see. I would say, say, KB told me I can do this. <laughs> It's going to be a funny video, but um, I'll try. Because I do need to upgrade mine to like the uh, to the bright white ones. Mm-hmm. So I might make a video on me doing it. So what? where do you see um, your YouTube or your, um, your, your just your brand going in the next couple of years? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I kind of be winging it. I just kind of go day to day. I mean, I do the car meets now, but the car meets are kind of getting a little, they get shut down a lot. So I do need to come up with a, another plan to do like more, like separate things besides the car meets. Hmm. So I, I must have missed it when you put your YouTube up there. Goodness gracious. Um, why don't you just have your own car meet? Uh, you know what? There's a lot that comes with that because, I mean, a lot goes on at the car meet. So if something happens while it's your meet, you can kind of get in trouble for it. So I'm kind of, mm, I'm not sure if I want to do it. You see how you're talking yourself out of it already? I'm going to call you after this. Man, these car meets here are crazy. No, that's why you don't read comments. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, someone in the comments wants to know if they can have your autograph. Who is it, New York? <laughs> New York, stop playing. Do you do you attend like the YouTuber um races and car meets and stuff? Uh, I went to the first uh, YouTuber call out in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Uh, when was it? March, I think. So mm-hmm. I went to that. That's I the one that. Um, is that the one Demonology had? Mm-hmm. Him against uh, Donk Master. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to that one. Time? Yeah, it was fun. It made you want. It made you want to get a different type of car. <laughs> yeah, cause I didn't race my uh, V6, but like, mm-hmm. you know, I raced my 392. It didn't make you want to build a dump? No, I'm not really. Um, like, I like the way the old schools look, but I they too much work. Like, my husband, he likes them, but, like, I, they too much work. See, now, that's, see that, that to us says that you are not truly a car person. I, <laughs> he just walked in. He's like, he's like fuck no. <laughs> that's what your husband <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't even build an old school Dodge? No. Really? Oh, man. We're gonna have to, you know what? I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to come out to Houston and do some talking to y'all. I gotta come, come talk on. to y'all. <laughs> Cause I don't know how to work on this stuff myself. So like, I feel like you have to put like he he has old well he used to have old schools and he used to put like so much like pay people so much money to get them worked on. And mm-hmm. I just feel like it's better if you can work on it yourself than mm-hmm. to like actually pay somebody to do it. So that's the reason why why I wouldn't do it. What did he used to have? Uh, he had a C10. I think it was like an 80, 81 or 83. Oh, yeah. Oh, shot man. Okay. He's had quite a few. He had, um, I think, a Cutlass. I don't know. He had a, quite a few things. A box, uh, Chevy Caprice. Um, he's had quite a few old schools. Like He's really into that, but I just feel like you just put too much money out when you don't know how to do the work yourself. Hey, that's blasphemy. Don't keep saying that. Don't do that. 
Don't do that. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll be telling them, I'm like, man, maybe you should, like, start trying to do little stuff yourself. Like, I'll watch. I, will, I might help help you hand, hand you a part or something like that, but no. So, do you foresee yourself possibly... Um, you said you don't you don't think that you want to do um, a, a car meet for your because this is what I feel like like as you're talking my wheels are turning you and your husband are both in Mopars I have so many ideas I'm not gonna say it on here because I don't want nobody to steal the idea that I'm <laughs> gonna give you but I'm gonna call you after this because I got so many my you know what being in this car culture has made me so creative when it comes to stuff that I feel like that I can see for myself and see for other people. So I got an idea and I'm going to tell you after this. I'm not going to tell you on here. <laughs> but I'm call you also, he's right. not really on the car scene. Mm -hmm. It's mostly just me. I'm more so out and about. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he comes out sometimes, but not really. But that's okay. It's, it's okay. The, the idea still works. Okay. So I'm going to call you after this. All right. So is the, is the car scene really big in Houston? The Mopar scene? Yes, huge. Like really, every single day there's something going on. Every day, every day. Jesus, that's a lot to keep up with. So, are you in a car club? Yes, I'm in Mopar Mafia. So, talk to us about Mopar Mafia. What 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 y'all got going on there in Houston? Well, it's probably like the biggest car club out here. Like, mm -hmm. we got a lot, a lot, a lot of members. But I mean, how many is that? Uh, it's definitely over a hundred. Jesus. So how often y'all get together and ride? Uh, definitely every day on the weekend. Uh huh. All right. You wanna you do you do you wanna show us your car? Sure. Let me go outside. <laughs> so so guys. Y'all know women drive better than y'all, so don't y'all make me, y'all Mopar people, don't y'all make me make my girl gap, y'all. So I got a few, I got a few, her and Letty, and see, I got about three more girls that will gap y'all, you guys, so don't y'all, you know, talk no smack, because I will put them girls on y'all, just so y'all know. <laughs> Talking about she's slow. You better cut it out. Sir. Who said that? It's it, it's Hornet. Oh, he always be talking trash. Okay, okay, we see you. All right, so this is mine. It's kind of dirty. I've been rolling this weekend. Y'all don't get don't get scared now. They getting scared. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't get scared. And this is his car. Okay, so he's thing one and you're thing two. Yeah. Okay, okay. He, he got more of the police look. Well, uh, you can't really see it, but like we used to have the same wrap when I had the other car, but like this, um, this changes colors. This, oh, wow. The hood, all the way down the middle, it all changes colors. It oh kinda, wow! You can kind of see it a little bit right there, but it's like a rainbowy kind of. But mm -hmm. the sun's not shining on it, or if there's not light on it, you can't really tell. Okay. It looks gray. But yeah, but th this is the cutie though, right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's very very nice. One the one thing I gotta say about even though like I'm not a Mopar person, the one thing I really gotta say about the people in the Mopar culture. Y'all be putting a lot in y'all cars. Y'all yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't y'all don't play. Like when I was in I was just recently in Miami when um Cat had the stunt stunt Sundays at Opalaka Flea Market. When I tell you them guys in them Mopars, it was probably about forty of them. And they had all types of graphics on their car, all type of so next week, I I'm sad I can't be there. But if you ever can get to Miami on a on a Sunday, he's gonna have at the flea market a donut pit at the flea oh, market. Wow. So they'll be able to go around and do donuts and burnouts. And I just think that's the dopest thing. Especially to go somewhere where you don't have to worry about the police. Yeah. You know, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what y'all go through. Every time we out. 
they harass you guys? Yeah, it, it. Most of the time, it's like we're just well. Some of the time, we're just sitting and not doing anything, and then we still get like kicked out of the area or whatever. Wow. Yeah, they kind of <laughs> shut it, shut all the uh, car stuff down out here. So tell people how to go follow you on your YouTube. Uh, you just go to T Rose. It's T E E underscore R O Z E, and um, yeah, go check me out. Subscribe. Got a lot of videos up there. I've been doing it for I think a year now, or almost a year. All right. So I just pinned your YouTube, so they'll be able to. So guys, if y'all are not already following her on YouTube, make sure that y'all go follow her on YouTube. Is your link in the in your bio? Uh, yeah. Yep. So, what else do you want us to know about T Bros? Um, I don't know. Uh, I do YouTube. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. That's about it. Everybody knows. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of quiet. I don't really talk a lot. Quiet, because I've just been trying to make you talk the whole yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, when I whenever I go on somebody's podcast, they're like, "Why is it T talking?" You know, it's like I'm just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> so you chill you know men you know men swear we talk so much but you just want you wanted a chill one <laughs> yeah i don't really be talking like that uh-huh mm-hmm. that that means you you know when you when you quiet like that ain't no telling you probably coming up with all types of stuff in your head <laughs> yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else you want us to know uh no that's it all right, well, I just wanted to make sure that I brought you on, asked, I asked all our questions, and introduced the, my followers to you. And well, hopefully, um, he told me I'm used to it. But yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that we did that. And then um, after this, I'm going to get in contact with you because I got, I got some ideas for you. Okay. All right, so everyone, um, this is T. Rose, and thank you so much for joining today. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Have a good day. You too.